Side of the Mall of Asia Arena, right here at the heart of Pasay City. But everybody there that you're seeing on camera right now, they don't mind. Why? Because it is rivalry day once again. And not only that, it is the last day and the last game of the elimination round of what has been an exciting and unpredictable season 80 of your UAB Women's Volleyball Tournament. And we're happy to see them line up and we're excited to see them come into the venue and cool down and enjoy great volleyball from Ateneo versus La Salle, which is match number 56 already for season 80 of your women's volleyball tournament. Earlier today, National University bowed down to FEU in our first game, and this will wrap up our elimination round. Will we have another game on Wednesday? Well, we'll find out. We're live on SNA and SNA HD, and we are glad to have you with us as we broadcast exclusively through ABS-CBN Sports. I'm Boom Gonzalez, together with Coach Ronnie Muxanok, and of course, uh, it won't be complete, and it won't be the same without our very capable courtside reporters. We're excited to hear from them today. First off, Marty Bautista, who will be reporting for Ateneo de Manila University, while Eileen, she is on the other side of the net for De La Salle University Lady Spikers. Good to see you girls, we'll hear from you in a bit. Coach Ronnie, I did say, what a season it has been. Season 80, you know, uh, unpredictable, crazy, exciting, dramatic. It's been must-see TV, and it's just right that the last game of our season still means something. And that is uh, how this uh, year has gone so far, mm -hmm. in terms of parity, in terms of uh, unpredictability, and uh, just as we all thought, just as we thought that NU was going to be the top seeded team <laughs> heading into the playoffs, suddenly it has been the Lady Archers who has been at the top of the heap in the last week and a half. Samantalang para sa Ateneo, it's a must-win situation for the Lady Eagles simply because they need to get to 10 wins to force a playoff for the second spot. That second spot will guarantee a twice-to-beat edge in the playoffs, and that is where FU is right now. De La Salle already will play NU in the semifinals, and the rest of the five, four other teams will not be able to make it to the playoffs. And don't be telling the La Salle fans or the La Salle coaching staff or the La Salle players that this is a no-bearing game for them. Walang no-bearing game pag Ateneo La Salle. Exactly. They want to win going into the final four phase. Ateneo, they need to win if right. they want that uh, twice to beat advantage. Again, by virtue of the fact that FEU, uh, with a resounding four-set win uh, against National University earlier on. All right, let's go back to the first round uh, meeting between these two rivals back in March 3 in front of 18,537 wow. people. And boy, what a match that was, <laughs> Coach Roddy. This was a match that saw La Salle stop a four-game winning run for Ateneo. This was also... The match that saw LaSalle start out a seven-game winning run dating back to Feb 24. And in this particular first-round encounter, you have here LaSalle controlling this match from the get-go. First set in 26 minutes, second set they lost in 25 minutes, and then the last two sets took 59 minutes. This match lasted nearly an hour. Kim Kiana D. Spectacular outing. 28% attack efficiency, seven blocks, three aces for 21 points. Five players from the Archers scoring double figures. Four 
the Lady Eagles, Joma Raginot, and three other Lady Eagles accounted for double-digit scoring. However, hindi nila napigilan yung service aces dito ng De La Salle, what, 16 to 4 in terms of service aces advantage over Ateneo. 72 points scoring skills para sa De La Salle, only 55 para sa Ateneo. Dapat para dito sa labang ito, kailangan mas matindi ang reception ng Ateneo. Their blocking also has to come into play for them to be able to stop a very good defending team which has the first line of offense, meaning in service aces, as its primary point of attack. My Coach Ronnie, uh, we had the pleasure of doing that first game and uh -huh. I asked you this same question, so I'll ask you again. Is this still a matchup between offense and defense when you look at the comparative stats or the head-to-head -head numbers of uh, these two teams in terms of how they have come up uh, in this season 80? Well, in terms of numbers, I, I believe that it still is. Okay. As well as defense versus Ateneo's offense. And it's going to be that way for Coach Ramil De Jesus in his many, many years uh, that he has handled the Sun and the many years that he will continue to handle the Lady Archers in the near future. And these numbers are just perfect illustrations on how La Salle and Ateneo have been able to get to their particular position at this stage of the year. Ateneo, number one in offense, number one in blocking. However, ang weakness nila ay yung kanilang floor defense at yung kanilang reception efficiency. Na siya namang lakas ng De La Salle Lady Archers. And of course, we have La Salle as the second best blocking team. At even if La Salle is only at 28% sa kanilang spike percentage, yung aces na yan hindi mo matatawaran because it has already produced a total of 139 points for De La Salle in Season 80. All right, those are the numbers. Those, again, are averages for Season 80. That's where they're going to be going into this matchup. Let's focus our attention on the team that needs to win, to have a chance, okay, to win, to have a chance for a twice-to-beat advantage. The Ateneo Lady Eagles, their own win streak was halted. Not only was that halted, Coach Ronnie, the last time they lost, which was against uh, the UP Lady Maroons, right. who, who ended up really strong in Season 80. That was supposed to be the third straight game that they would come from behind right. and win. But that magic run out, and you just cannot keep on doing that in the season. You were referring to that five-set win versus Adamson and that uh, five-set win versus USD, USD. Of which Ateneo came back Correct. from the dead. Correct. To literally, to literally steal those two games away from the hands of Adamson and USD. But it was not meant to be against UP. They were off form, and UP was in peak form in that face-off. First three set loss of Ateneo for the year, and this loss certainly hurt Ateneo's chances to get one of the top two spots, which guarantees a twice to beat edge. Meron pa silang chance, but they need to win twice today and come playoff, kung sakasakali, laban sa FAU on Wednesday. And in this particular match, you have Ateneo, only one player in double figures for the Lady Eagles, a total of 39 points from scoring skills compared to UP. With 57. Isa Molde Tots Carlos tortured Ateneo's defense. Ateneo giving up a total of seven aces to UP. UP outlasting Ateneo in terms of blocking. At uh, kahit ang UP nakagawa ng 34 unforced errors, hindi naging sapat yan para sa Ateneo na mapigilan ng UP para walisin sila. Those three sets, lamang ang Ateneo. Yeah. Those three sets, hinabol sila ng UP. Bagay na sadyang yan ang lakas ng Ateneo sa kanilang mga 5-set wins pero hindi lumitaw dun sa pagkatalo kontra sa Fighting Maroons. And as a side note, of course, we all know UP finished strong in Season 80 by racking up 6 wins. Right. Uh, One win away, no? Oh, yesterday at uh, the Blue Eagle Gym while Ateneo. Nga, naubusan ng Magic. After 2 games that they came from behind, they thought it was going to... I mean, the fans thought it was going to happen again, down 0-2. <laughs> but like we said, Coach Ronnie, you just cannot sustain that kind of a game every single game. But speaking of sustaining, this girl that we're going to uh, feature right now has had her best season so far. Right. We've talked about her endless times because she's in shape, she's in a zone, she's confident, she's looking good, and she's playing well. And when Catalentino is healthy, definitely she is a bright spot para dito sa Lady Eagles. And she showed that kind of uh, potential in that loss laban sa UP. All throughout the season, number 8 in spike percentage with a total of 128 spikes scored so far this year. Number 2, best attacker behind Joanna Maraginot. Fourth in blocks for the Blue Eagles, second, second leading scorer likewise for Ateneo. She leads Ateneo in service aces, a total of 13 points per outing para dito sa 6-foot attacker ng Ateneo. Bakit natin sinasabi yung service aces? Yan ang bala ng Lasal kontra sa depensa ng Ateneo. Ayat, yan din ang kailangan 
dalhin nila Kat Tolentino laban sa depensa ng De La Sal. Ngayon, nabanggit mo na rin ang La Sal, Coach Juani. Mag-uusapan natin yan Yo. sa ating pagpabalik dito mo sa ating live coverage at Ateneo vs. La Sal here on SNA. This is ABS-CBN Sports Live, an exclusive coverage of Season 80 Women's Volleyball Tournament. Match number 56 is minutes away. You're also watching us live on Liga and Liga HD Channel 183. May ilang minuto pa bago tayo magsimula uh, dito. And uh, we're definitely going to fill this venue up. So those who are outside, don't worry. You will have your time to get in and uh, get into the venue. And we can't wait to see you here. Alam namin, napaka-init, Coach Ronnie, sa labas oh, ngayon. Ano? So, Sobra. hopefully, makapasok sila, makasettle right. down, and enjoy this matchup as the defending champions are getting ready to see action against their rivals, the Ateneo de Manila Lady Eagles. Now, the, uh, the, the LSU Lady Spikers, as Coach Ronnie mentioned, are on a seven-game roll, which started in round one, the end of round one, against Ateneo. They have not obviously been defeated here in round two they're not they don't have any plans of going into the final four <laughs> with a defeat the last victim of which was the adamson university lady falcons and completely took them out of the final four right picture. and and you thanks them for that of course that was a three right for the lady bulldogs who eat a huge sigh of relief as uh de la Salle swing over adamson sent them straight to the final four and in this particular match de la Salle won in four sets Etong La Salas only lost three sets in the second round. A total of six straight wins for La Salle in the second round. One over FEU, beat NU, and these were the two teams that uh, defeated De La Salle sa kanilang unang round na tinakbo. And in this particular encounter versus uh, Adamson, they controlled everything from top to bottom. At kahit nagkaroon sila ng 34 unforced errors, in terms of spikes, they were plus 6. In terms of blocks, they were plus 3. And again, in service aces, they were plus 13 laban sa Adamson. And once again, KKD led all scorers with 17 points, followed by Cheng and Majoy Baron both scoring in double figures for the Archers. Hindi po aksidente na yung mga servisyo o yung service netong lasan. Masama sa plano yan. Cargado. Against Ateneo, we already talked about the numbers. Against Adamson, you just mentioned the numbers. Let's break it down in terms of the number of players because this is also essential. Not only do you know, un unlike other teams who have like service specialists or they're like two or three na magagal, in, in the Ramil de Jesus <laughs> system, Coach Ron, yes. everybody has to serve well. Well, there is always uh, the winning template for coaches who know what it takes to be able to get to the top. Alam ni Coach Ramil de Pensa ang kinakailangan. Pero alam din niya, hindi ka mananalo kung hindi ka makakopensa. And the first line of offense has been a key ingredient for La Salle's ascension to become the top team heading to the playoffs. 18% of De La Salle's total output versus Adamson came from the service line. They were 18 of 96, good for 19% compared to Adamson. Was only 5 of 80 for 6%. And you have here these following names with multiple aces. Six players with multiple aces for the Archers. Right now, they have three players in the top 10 in terms of service aces. They have Cheng, who's at number 1, Cobb at number 2, and Majoy Baron at number 3. Right now, the only team averaging over 10 aces, or 10 aces, match here this season and in the Ramil de Jesus system every rotation the server always has to be the first threat in offense and that's just how it is with them and that's why it's going to be key again in this matchup against Ateneo now we've heard from coach Ronnie let's hear from another person let's talk about or let's talk to Pia Geyser this time to explain to us the keys to the game for both Ateneo and La Salle courtesy of our H&M first serve Anticipated match, it is the second meeting of the Lady Eagles versus the Lady Spikers. Throughout the season, the Lady Eagles was struggling at first, but has now found their rhythm. For the Lady Eagles to win, they need a good reception to continue to dominate on their attacks. Next, Dina Wong will play a crucial role since LaSalle has good anticipating blockers and also to at least rattle LaSalle's defense. 
And lastly, they need to take advantage of their highly efficient blockers and attackers. Through the years, the advantage of the Lady Spikers would always be their good services. And for LaSalle to win this game, they need to maximize their services and blockings, which can intimidate their opponents. Also, maintain their solid defense in reception and digs. And lastly, they have to show the championship mentality and experience to overcome their biggest arch rival. Thank you very much, Pia Geyser, for the H&M first serve. Babantayan natin yung mga sinabi niya, and then we'll go along through the course of the game and see uh, where her points will be at. But we will not argue with her, definitely. We cannot. We cannot <laughs> argue with her. And thank you very much for joining us for today. All right, match up. This is going to be great. Very uh, high-flying, very highly efficient. Two very different players also right. in terms of their personal approach to attacking. Well, these are the leading scorers for their respective units. And these two players recently have been named to the national pool by the present national team coach, Ramil De Jesus, just a few days ago. Yep. And right now, KKD, number 18, scoring 22 years old, playing their final year, 13.3 points per game, 174 points in 13 matches. And to your left, Joe Maraginot, 197 points, 15 points per game at uh, number four in spike percentage, number five in scoring, itong si Joe Maraginot. Uh, there you have it. We're all good up and ready to go for Ateneo versus LaSalle, Coach Ramil versus Coach Tai. And it's going to happen in a few minutes. Stay with us here on SNA. Ladies and gentlemen, we're live from the Mall of Asia Arena, Pasay City, Philippines, as we bring you the second match in the greatest rivalry in Philippine sports. This is match number 56 in the Women's Volleyball Tournament of your Season 80 UAAP. Officiating this match, our first referee, Fernando Velarde, national referee. Our second referee, Yul Benosa, international referee. Let us now meet the starters. First, stand up and cheer for your Ateneo de Manila ladies. Number three, Tina Wong. Number four, Jules Samonte. Team captain number seven, Maddie Madayan. Number ten, Kat Tolentino. Number thirteen, Joanna Maraginot. Number fourteen, Bea. And back as Libero, number one, Danny Ravenna. The head coach of the Lady Eagles, Anusan Tai Pundi. And now, here are the reigning and defending champions. Make some noise for the Tennessee. Number two, Desiree Chang. Number six, Michelle Cobb. Team captain number ten, the reigning MVP, Majoy Barod. Number eleven, Kim Kiana T. Number thirteen, Aduke Odonsanya. Number 15, Tin Tianzong. Their libero, one of Asia's finest, Don Macantini. And the head coach of the Lady Spikers, Romel De Jesus. 
Here we go. LaSalle undefeated in the second round, which started, uh, that win streak started against Ateneo. This is technically a non-bearing game for them, but again, those words are not thrown around that camp, especially when Ramil de Jesus, the maestro, is on, uh, in charge <laughs> of the camp. Uh, regardless of other duties as national team coach now, and a lot right. of people are very happy about that. Well, Ateneo in the meantime, especially because they are now, well, are forced to win this one after FEU won against National University. They need to win to force a playoff on Wednesday for the twice to beat advantage, which is very essential, maybe more than any other year, Coach Ronnie, very because important. of the competition. Very important. And imagine that, that Ateneo and FEU, they split their their, uh, their, two meetings. their two meetings here this season. So 0-1, first service error courtesy of the Lady Eagles. This is out, and we are at 1-all. Des Cheng tried to score off the block, but Des fails to connect. In their first round encounter, Desiree Cheng, one of uh, five players in double figures for De La Salle. In the first set, La Salle really came off firing, if you remember Coach Ronnie. Right. They came out focused. Remember, that was the time when they lost two of the last three. Yes, and that was the time that uh, I believe Coach Ramil de Jesus you know, called them out. Oh, oh. <laughs> After that, they have not lost since. At the uh, kung na natin yung set one dun sa first round meeting, Lasal 14-8 in terms of attack points. Pero atin had four blocks, but Lasal had five aces in that first set win. The coach from Mil de Jesus just stared down uh, Desiree Chen after that service error, which gave Ateneo its second point. Speaking of Ateneo, let's go to their side. Marty Bautista will be reporting. Marty, go ahead. In the last encounter with their arch rivals, the LSU, the Lady Spikers won over the Lady Eagles with spikes, blocks, and aces, which is why Coach Kai took to the courts to focus on serving harder and getting better reception. Even their big sisters from the Pool Smashers were there to help in training Boom and Ronnie, former Lady Spiker Michelle Gomabao, and Thai national Kutika Kaupun were present in assisting and challenging the girls with their blocking and reception. And speaking about reception, Boom and Ronnie, Coach Kai has now put Danny Ravenna back in as defensive libero. Danny shared to me that this week has been one of the hardest both physically and mentally, but she's positive that all the hard work will pay off and hopes that she can deliver in today's game. Handing it back to Nicole Trani. Thank you very much, Marty. Let's see if that will pay dividends in this matchup. First long rally of the match so far. And it is the side that ends up with a point. Coach, I wonder how Michelle Gumabo felt. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an interesting question because helping it's the school that you know she had battles against. Of course, she's a professional. We all know her. You know, volleyball is one world, and and that things are different. But you're a disciple of Coach Ramil, and then yeah, now you, you're asked to help the blocking and receiving of uh, your arch rival. So well, I guess it's also you can also reconcile. With the fact that some players have moved from blue to green and have also transferred from green Correct. to blue. Oh. So you can just equate that with the move taken by uh, Mitch Gumaba, who is a, a true professional. Oh. At, uh, she has moved on from her collegiate career and has, is now a certified beauty queen, a certified coach, and now will move over to Katipunan. Ah. We'll see that really soon also in terms of Katik uh, PBL. In the meantime, Four all is our score. And check it with Eileen Sheep. Boom and Ronnie, this week has been enough to get the Lady Spikers in a festive mood because aside from securing the number one spot here in the elimination round, Coach Emil was also hailed as the new head coach for the national team. Now, prior to this match, I had a quick chat with Coach Emil and I asked him how will he be able to balance these two seemingly heavy tasks 
of first coaching the national team and second is consequently coaching a team that is looking to defend their title. At ang sabi niya, syempre maraming sakripisyo ang kailangan but it's all about management. Ang maganda ay may established training program at magsusupervise. Ang kailangan na lang ay sundin ito. With this, let's see if this renowned RDJ training program could prove to be sufficient in bringing more festivity not only to TAF after today's game but also to our country in the future. Boom and Ronnie? Of course, uh, present in those practices were his girls also, Kim D, Don Makatili and Majoy Baron. There were invitations, of course, uh, sent out to uh, Madaya, Maraginot, and, and uh, Bea De Leon. Right. Pero they opted to skip that because they were preparing for yes. this match, which obviously is very important. I believe the next competition for that national team that we be formed soon is the Asian Games. And that will be, I think, uh, in nearly, nearly two months from now. And right now, La Sala has strung up a total of uh, Two consecutive points to take the lead away from Ateneo. This is the first taste of the lead for Lasalle here in the first set after the Archer started out this first set with two straight errors. 6 5. Bongai with a little misreception there, but Capolentino oh, saves the play. Bongai Gaston with his, her first excellent reception. Bongay Gaston did a credible job in the absence of uh, Dani Ravenna. Ateneo was 5-2 and two with Bongay Gaston as the chief libero. Of course, they were armed with a five-game winning streak themselves, right? Tiamzon flies and finds zone one. Excellent reception once again for the archers. In their first round encounter, the only thing won by the Blue Eagles was in setting or in play making. The rest were controlled by the Lady Archers. 43% dig count to 38 by Ateneo. 41% reception efficiency compared to 30% for the Blue Eagles. Bump set. Maraginot cross court. Cheng able to dig. Sends it to the other side. And yes, gets the point. Yes. And that's yes. the Sorry, coach. We get to the technical timeout. 8 to 6 is our score. LaSalle in the lead. We're also greeting everybody watching through sports.abs-gbm.com slash livestream slash UAP, the number one sports website in the Philippines. That's the girl who just scored their eighth point just now before the technical timeout, 8-6, to six, Des Cheng. Now remember that this young lady went down with an ACL injury a few years back and right now. After defending their crown last year, she's a UAAP champion. She is a finals. She was a, the finals MVP last year. And she continues to be an integral part for LaSalle's bid for a 3 peat under Coach Ramil De Jesus. Pangilang 3 peat na bayan ay naabol ni Coach Ramil De Jesus. Uh, Coach Ramil, on the 20th year, of course, we all know all those titles belong to him. Right. And uh, he's looking for his uh, 258th win today uh, ben, huh? uh, against 67 losses in the most decorated career. Both in high school and college. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. That's out. Des Cheng was there, but Madayax, Madayax blocked. Oh, sorry, Madayax hit too strong. 9-7 is our score. Lasal attempting to break away from Ateneo. Ateneo trying to stay close. Two teams, top two blocking teams for the entire year. Of course, Ateneo not at number one. Bob will go to Cheng. Quicker and a yes, faster set given to Des Chen for the three point lead. Number 16 in scoring, 136 points, 10 points per game. Des Re Chen, Pagina Asahan, Lagging Lumalabas para makapakita, giving Lasal a three point lead. Two points for Des Chen so far. 10 7. Good first ball for Ateneo. Up. Majoy Baron knows what to do in instances like that. The lead is four. Definitely, Ateneo's first ball much better today than in the first in their so first round encounter. Uh, so far, nakita mo tin trabaho talaga nila. Kaya lang pag ganyang uh, regalo yung binigay mo kay Majoy Baron, bihira nang sumablayan. One of three players playing their final year for Coach Ramil in Ooh. season 80. Kasama si Don Makandila at KKD. Cobble goes to re reverse. Bongai was there for coverage. 
Back row, Balances, back for the night. And Majoy Baron delighted in giving the Sale five point lead. Biggest lead of the set so far. <laughs> Eh, mau, 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 talking, talking. Eh, back low attack, not only spy, left fly. Looking, first ball, first ball. Hey, you, only you. Go, let's go, let's go. Slowly filling up here at the Mall of Asia Arena, the venue for the last day of the elimination round of your women's volleyball tournament. Galung galun lang, Coach Ronnie. This is already match 56. We've had an incredible season Milis. so far of unpredictability. 15 five setters have right. characterized it. You know, I was also thinking about this before we get back to this matchup. A lot of the games from the first round and second round, Bowie and Gantihan. Oh, Gantihan. Gantihan. You know, we, we've Gantihan. seen a lot of seasons yes, now. Yes. Two zero, two zero. Ito. Walang you know, ganon. Mira. Oh. Oh. You know, UP Ateneo. FEU Ateneo. Yes, yes. Adamson, FEU. Okay, kaya nga hindi mo alam yung mga yari hanggang itong final Correct. week, eh, di ba? Oh. Ang ganda, no? Right. And, uh, eventually, Adamson and UP hmm. only missed the final four by one win. Nandun pa rin sila. UST naman. Right. Eh, akala natin uh, will be in the thick of the fight. Right. Kinapos. Pero ang UE... At least, kahit paano, nabuhay this season under Coach Rod Rock, eh. Speaking of buhay, buhay pa tong rally natin. And it's still going. Wong opens up. Maraginot off the fingertips. And it's essential for Maraginot to play better today. In their loss versus UP, Maraginot, who is the leading scorer for Ateneo, only accounted for 7 points, and she was 7 of 34. Good for only 20%. Ganun siya, pinantayan ng Ateneo. At ganun siya, pinagta-target, rather ng UP. Pinagta-target ng UP para hindi makapalo. Siya ang taga-receive, siya ang taga-defensa sa floor defense. Bumawi naman si Deschek sa kanyang pangatlong puntos. Uh, this perfect setup, she goes beyond the hands of Samonte. And I think that is just a perfect picture. Na hindi no bearing ang tingin ng Lady Archers dito sa laban na ito. No way. No way. Coach, if you're Lasal, you're looking for a 3 p And you know your your contenders, you know, any day can beat you. NU, Ateneo, FU. Kung pwede mong pahirapan yung yung mga nasa ibaba, yung magkagulo-gulo. Yan ang ginagawa nila. What? You know, and in the, in the same process, you keep winning. You know, at this point of the year, you have to be merciless. Yes, exactly. They eliminated USD. They uh, sent uh, Adamson into extinction in succession. And today, a win here by LaSalle will give them uh, at least not only the momentum and the confidence when they head to the meeting laban sa inyo, pero papagurin mo yung FEU at Ateneo. Oh. At yung lagi mo nakakaharap, posible mong hindi makaharap. So, well, uh, And those two teams giving them headaches. Right, right. Wong open. Cat. Makalini unable to keep it in play. Well, you have to be able to get to zone five. Yan ang sinasabi ni Coach Ramil kay Don Makandili. As Cat Talentino, the lone double-digit scorer for Ateneo in that loss to UP, beats Don Makandili in her cross-court winner. Kandili, hinatid yung bola kay Kaap. Cheng on the opposite side. That is a LaSalle point. The block hits the antenna. So we're back to a four-point lead here. And time and again, Desiree Cheng has read Ateneo's blockers really well. And that is uh, really uh, the main strategy. And hit that ball to the outside hand of blocker and try to score off the block. Four-point lead once again for Desiree Cheng and the Lady Archers. Great first ball by Maraginot, but great dig there by Cheng. Yangzon, did somebody touch that? Fernando oh. Velarde is looking for help from others. Where you 
Ben Osa. Sayed. Eh? And that's why. Because <laughs> it looked like the ball changed a little bit direction for Trotty. And the, the referees missed that. Nagtanong naman yung ating first referee, yes, wala yeah. namang sumagot. Yeah. Pero for Ateneo, it's about going to the next play. They were down earlier by 5 at 12-7. And this is a 6-2 run. Para dito sa Ateneo, to now only be behind by 2. 13 serving 15. Part of the game. Missed calls, wrong calls are part of the Oops. game. Oh, Tiam Zon. That's also part of the game, yeah. Missed her footing. Oh, that sends to the other side. It's LaSalle's turn. Makandili. Kiana Di, dinala sa gitna. And even on a scramble, LaSalle prevails in that last sequence, mainly through their floor defense and once again, through the excellent read and attack coming from KKD. LaSalle, three-point lead, second technical timeout. And now we're back here in the UAAP Season 8 the Women's Volleyball Tournament. I am here with former Lady Spiker, Wench Yu. Hi, Wench. Hello. I have a few questions for you today. So now that we, um, UAAP is coming to a close, um, volley fans are waiting for this event. So on May 6, we have the PBL opening. Ano nga ba ang bagong pwedeng abangan ng fans dito sa PBL? Well, ang bagong nalabangan is that we have new teams and along with the teams are new players joining the league. So, Wench, could you tell us more about these new teams? I know that you're entering a new team. Could you tell us more about it? Yes, we're actually a new team. It's a Petrogas, Petrogas team. So, I'm from Petrogas. So, would you like to invite everyone to watch this game? Yes, um, we're inviting you all on uh, April 27. We're having a Grand, grand Fans Day, and that's at Trinoma Activity Center at 1 p.m. I hope to see you there, guys. Thank you, Wench, and we're looking forward to see you as well. Back to you, Boom and Ronnie. Thank you very much. Good to see Wench Chu not only here, but uh, to hear the news that she will be seeing action. Eh, malapit na, Coach uh, Ronnie, yung ating TV. Eh. Malapit na, malapit na. But of course, that will uh, happen after matapos tayo, matapos dito. tayo dito sa ating Season 80. Pero ngayon, yung Ateneo trying to dream further itong 3-point lead ng uh, De La Sal. Catalontino has been the most successful attacker so far here in the set for Ateneo. Miss Receive. Makandili still got a hand on it, but it is not enough. Two-point lead in Tiamzon, who's also had her struggles, even in this uh, seven-game winning streak that they've had. Tiamzon was an excellent uh, player for LaSalle in that win in the first round versus oh, yeah. Ateneo. 42% attacker, good for 13 points. 34% from her dig excellence and 44% reception efficiency. It's a good first ball. Bumalik sa Lasal. And good instinct there by Wong to block Ogunsanya. She knew she couldn't do anything else anymore, so might as well. Three straight points for the Blue Eagles from high of five. Now it's only one. Ateneo's Dina Wong contributing another kill block for Ateneo, who's had already a total of 134 kill blocks heading to today's match. Pumakapit itong Ateneo. Down one and a chance to tie here. One two play. Two straight points. For Dina Wong. And we're all tied up at 17. And this is the first deadlock since the one all count. Heading into the three all tally. At uh, matagal tagal naghapul dito ang Ateneo. Dina Wong with critical points. And now Lasalas has lost their five point lead. South. Three point given to LaSalle. The service error coach Ty couldn't believe it. At a crucial part of the match where momentum has totally right, right, swung. Right. That's their third service error. So much at stake in today's game for the Lady Eagles. And a third service error for LaSalle themselves. Coach Ramil. With another stare down. If you could only see it live. <laughs> AKD had three service aces in their first round win versus Ateneo. 18 all. Comes on. 
Goes back to her. Triple block, doesn't matter. And a Gatorade White Lightning fueled spike of the game. Excellent first ball coming from Teen Chamzon. Five points for her coach Ron right, so right. far. And I think it's also worth mentioning young face off between Dina Wong and Mitch Cobb. Two young playmakers who are now in the spotlight. And probably as Vasal gets a two point lead here. If you go back to the first round encounter, that was number one in terms of the topic conversation yes, yes, yes. of uh, that first round encounter. Succeeding Gia Morado, right. replacing Kim Fajardo, Mitch Cobb lost their first round matchup with uh, Dina Wong. 34% for Dina Wong, 26% passing accuracy para kay Mitch Cobb in that first round win. But they did come up with the win right. as a team, so I'm sure she felt better. Mara Ginot. Ends the play. Kung gusto mo ng panapos talaga, minsan, pupursyento ka kay Joe. And that's why playmakers have to be quick thinkers. To be able to read the defense, to get to their focal point of attack. And Don Macandili has been beaten at least thrice here in the first set. 19 serving 20, coach. Very close. Cheng puts it away! And you have to understand the tendencies of the attacker. If she's a high leaper, alam mo naman kung anong klase cross court ang babanatan. Ito, finding the space down the line. Two point lead for the archers. Perfect placement for her fifth point. Bilis ng mga pasa ni Cup. Lumusot. But again, Maraginot powers it through. Wills that ball in. Oh, we're getting we're getting really into the thick of this fight now. Underhand pass coming from Dina Wong. Heading into this game. 464 running sets, 748 steel sets. Pop. Dez off the fingertips of the blockers. Palita na puntos, which means LaSalle maintains a two-point lead. In this type of a matchup, to be really, really very steady. And steady is the name of the game for Desiree Cheng, even going up against a taller blocker, Nasi Bea de Leon, and scoring off Bea de Leon. Just full of confidence already, Coach Ron. Ibang iba na siya, no? This time, the door was shut for Joe on the opposite side. And it was Cheng and Baron collaborating for that one. Let's check it again. 55% attacker today is Des Cheng. Lasal 107 blocks heading into this final game of the second round. Uh, with Baron who had the hand on it. Timeout Ateneo. Hindi po pwedeng iwanan sa kanya-kanya ang pwesto yung tao, okay? Tapatan na yan. Pag nakaroon ng pasa, ayan, ready na tayo umipit dito. Pag walang pasa, magbilang, okay? Yes, coach! National team coach, Ramil De Jesus, with a three-point lead in the first set, 23-20. They're safely at number one, safely with a twice to lead advantage. Everybody who you, whom you watch today are safely in the final four. But the seedings of two and three are uh, still undetermined. And what a time for an ace to come for Michelle Cobb, who has been serving splendidly the whole year. And it gets him into match point. Second best for the year, just behind the 34 of Des Cheng. Mitch Cobb now with 29 aces so far, with her first ace in this match. Oh, Kelsun was there. But could not keep it up as Maraginot keeps the Lady Eagles alive here in set number one. And Joe Maraginot saves one of four set points in the pocket of the archers. Down three. A match point. Jumps on in the middle. Ravenna. Wong reverses to Samonte. Baron did not see where the ball was. Now, Ateneo has showed a lot of comebacking abilities. Not only 
I mean, throughout the season against different teams, including Lazar in the first round, remember that time when they were down by nine? Down seven against Adamson. And now, right now, they're down two at uh, set point, not match point, but set point. Let's say, blocking tayo, di ba? So, nisimula tayo, di na nyo na maliit na blocking, doon muna rin yung bola. Pag nakareceive na maayos, so, sugal tayo, sugal tayo. Gawan mo ng paraan kung paano mga single block o mga open block yung tao mo. Pag nakita mo, hindi sumabay kay Joy, bigay mo kay Joy. Pag nakita mo, sumasabay kay Joy na kanilin. Twenty-four, twenty-two. Set point. Two set points saved right. so far. Right. Shot serve. Cobb goes back to Cheng. Finds a way to get it through. Cat. Cobb was there. And the D goes cross court. Someone there. Chance for LaSalle here. Makandili with a bump set. Kennedy. Wong keeps it up. Chance ball for LaSalle. Ooh. Oh, missed communication. Yeah. What happened there, Coach Ron? Wow. Let's see that play again. Mitch Cobb committing this critical error as Ateneo is able to save three set points. I thought that she wanted a quick play for the Kimanjo Baron. She tried to activate her middle hitter, pero nagbanggaan sila ni Kim Kiana D. Sila isang magandang receive lang, nagawa na yung paraan, okay? Magkakanon, walang palong diretsyo. Walang palong diretsyo, then ready tayo kung mover. Okay? Sa taas ang maayos, Dora, is pag na-target tayo, okay? Skin team, ha? Kasi ha? Ready tayo, ha? Then ready tayo kung mover, okay? Well, last time out, we had 18,537. They were part of that crowd round number one. They're back here at the Mall of Asia Arena. And Ateneo chasing down De La Salle University here in set number one. Third set point saved. Miss Receive. Yeah, I did say it. I did say, Coach Ronnie, that Ateneo has shown comebacking abilities, whether it's from a set perspective or sets perspective or points perspective, and they're doing it again. Can they complete it? Oh! They give a set point. To La Salle. And this is the fifth set point of the first set for the Lady Archers. <laughs> Ateneo showing composure. Ateneo showing peak form. Now La Salle needs to respond in their bit to close out this first set. And they have a dangerous two. server on deck in death check. Number one so far for the year. Mongai, Samonte, and a chance for La Salle. Makandili, D. It's still alive. Chance ball again for LaSalle. Cobb will go to the middle, and Baron puts it away. And then in set one, 26 to 24, for the De La Salle One step down. <laughs> Look at the reaction by the Lady Archers. And once again, Don McAndili's thumbprint all over this last two points for the Lady Archers. No bearing back, Amo. Coach oh. Ronnie. No betting down. No betting down. No but betting. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. 26-24 for DLSU. Joshua Garcia, Julia Barreto, here in the second round of the matchup between Ateneo and LaSalle, which will end our elimination round for season 80. Set one numbers, Coach Ronnie. Well, in the last set, Ateneo even had the lead after the first nine points, 5-4. But then suddenly, LaSalle pulled away at 12-7. Tumablang Ateneo. 
Pero hindi nila napigilan yung Lasas holding the long punto. So we're still tied at, tied at 24 all. But then once again, Lasal's ability to win the tight points, enabling them to take that first set 26 to 24. If that were any other team, and let's say, Ibigay na yung, you know, yung, yung habol ng Ibigay Ateneo yun, na ganun, oh. with the crowd getting Malakas into it. Malakas ng sigawa, no? Yes. Oh. Nararatel we, talaga yung iba. And we've seen it, di ba? We've seen it the From other Adamson. teams. Correct. Uh, USD came USD. in also at one point. And we've seen it in, in, with other teams, NU and all that. But La Salle is just obviously a different beast, different monster. They're, you know, the two-time champion. Mga bingi, no? <laughs> And uh, bingi, selective. Selective. Oh. Yeah, Sabi nga ng mga winning coaches, yeah. you have to navigate through the noise and only hear the sound bites from your from your uh, side of the floor. Yes. The yeah. rest, mere noise. Yes. They are selective. That's in. That's it drops in. Coach Taibundit unhappy with that last sequence. Lasal's defense reading the passes of uh, Dina Wong. Comparative numbers between the two playmakers. Dina Wong is at 20%, 6 out of 30. Sa kanya mga pasa, Mitch Cup 34%, 9 out of 26. And again, another ace for the diminutive Mitch Cobb. The one thing that has been consistent throughout the year for her has been her services. And again, right, will sound like a broken record even from round number one, Coach Juan. Yes. But service reception is really strong going to be key for Ateneo in this match. That stops a six-point run for Lasal, or dating back to the last two points of the first set. They talk about Mitch Cobb, what four so aces in their last win versus Adamson. Check in with Marty Bautista from the Ateneo side right now. Marty, go ahead. Danny Ravenna reminisced what she wrote in her asset essay that when Coach Kai told her that she'd be playing again, she wrote, I want to play in Ateneo because I've always dreamt of singing the school hymn, not just as a fan, but as a true Atenista. And today she tells me that it's a dream come true playing alongside her idols, both in Ateneo and in Lasal. Santa also believes that Danny's defense will bring a lot today. Kat says Danny plays heart strong and her positive attitude can add sparky in the court. And for that last set, Boom and Ronnie Coach Kai reminds the girls to keep that positive attitude alive. They meditated to get their focus back and have the mantra on. Boom and Ronnie, back to you. Thank you very much, especially in this essential That's match. So another so ace so by the number one server, Des Cheng. Right. Just getting that ball across the head of Ponge Gaston, not an easy thing to do. Seven, Coach Ronnie. And counting. Service aces so far. They average about 10 per game, talking about the Lady Archers. Surely a weapon for the archers. Over-received there in that sequence. Chance for Ateneo here. Wong in the middle to Bea de Leon. Stop the bleeding. 6-2 is our score. Let's check in with Eileen Shi. Boom and Ronnie having secured the twice to beat advantage and consequently a spot in the final four. The Lady Spikers are playing with, playing with little or no pressure today. Ang gusto nga lang daw makita ni Coach Ramil is the girls enjoying the game. However, it seems as if the different setting coupled with Ateneo's undeniable aggressiveness made it hard for the Lady Spikers to pull away in the previous set. Kaya naman for this set, Coach Ramil is asking the girls for three things. Stay composed. Wag maging tense at gumamit ng utak sa laro. That's all for now. More updates later. Boom and Ronnie. Thank you, Eileen. Aron with the serve. Five point lead. There's Tim Yamzon with a cross court attack, getting them to the first technical timeout of set number two. The score is eight to two. Back inside the Mall of Asia Arena, 8 to 2 is the score in set number 2 for the uh, Lady Spikers. Dina Wong, and your assessment uh, of her through two rounds, uh, Coach Ronnie? Well, I believe that she has really done well stepping up to the plate as Jim Murado opted not to play her final year. It's also a large reason why Ateneo is the best attacking team right now at 31 percent. Kanilang uh, spike efficiency. Among all the setters, she's ranked number one. And she also won the battle versus Mitch Cup. That's a first round encounter, but they lost the game. And once again, dito sa kanilang second round face-off. Ito namang si Mitch Cup ang namamayani, laban kay Wong, who had two points in that first set loss. And right now, the first ten points went so quickly. Unfortunately for Ateneo, uh, 
LaSalle right now has a 7-point lead at 9-2. Biggest lead, a very slow transition defense for Ateneo and a very minimal attacks para dito sa Blue Eagles. Biggest lead on any set, either set. Right, right. right. Lima kasi kanina yung pinakamalaking abante ng LaSalle Going in the first set. Walo. Wow, major run for LaSalle starting out the second set with four straight points. And Ateneo's blocking has to be better. LaSalle out blocked in the first set, 5-1. to one. And that is something that has to be present for Ateneo all throughout the remaining part. Uh, remaining sets of this match. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's an 11-2 count right now. Hindi ka makapasa, hindi ka makaka-atake, hindi makakarating ang bola sa setter, hindi ka makakapalo. And uh, we saw something like this in that first round win by Lasal over Ateneo. Bumalik. Tolentino makes something out of this and gets a point. Uh, accidental offense and they'll take it to stop the bleeding. 3-11. And these are uh, the two most consistent players for Ateneo so far. Pero mababa yung kanilang point production. Referring of course to Joe Mariginot and Kat Tolentino. They're still behind by 8 here in set number 2. Agunsanya has checked. Tiamzon also checked. Coach Ramil comes up with a smile. Coach <laughs> Kiana D. Natawa ako sa reaction ni Coach Ramil eh. Ito yung blocking ng Ateneo that has to come into play versus Lasal. Yeah, you're right. Paulit-ulit silang binubutasan sa kanilang depensa. Dali nung utakan sila ni Mitch Cobb. Able to activate her. Multiple points of attack. Able to beat Ateneo's defense. But not in that last sequence. D. Restores an eight-point lead. Five points for KKD. Yeah, she is not just the best scorer for the Sun. She's a very mature spiker. And will not just use force, but placement, timing, and the uh, excellent read of the defense once again for this final year player. And Coach Ronnie, there is a calmness about her. The, way, the way she plays, you know? That's it. Hindi mo nararaten eh. Oh, and, and with her, even her disposition, she doesn't get too high or too low. Yes, too you can see it in their eyes. Depressed. Doesn't celebrate yeah. too much. Mm -hmm. Just moves on to the next play. Alam na nila eh. Nandun na sila sa level na talagang getting ready for the playoffs. And this is a blistering second set we've seen from the Lady Archers. Blue Eagles, they have to respond. Then to stop Then you over and not block, not block high, not jump high, jump over net like one, two, three. Third Ravenna. And joined us here, the ball of Asia Arena. Where La Salle is ahead by nine. 13 to four. And by a set, one to love. That's out. Catolentino scoring against the double block. Good read coming from Pongai Gaston, letting that ball drop. No. Uh, what name do you want to use? <laughs> Simply Isaac Go. Uh, Isaac Go, okay. And two teammates on hand to uh, help out the Lady Eagles. Yeah. Service ace for Catolentino. Three straight points for the Blue Eagles. Kanina, pinakamaraming uh, consecutive points sila ay dalawa. Ngayon, nagawa nila ng tatlo. As Tolentino targets, Desiree Cheng, lead down to seven. Oh, that's Ooh. a perfectly run, running attack, right? which Ogunsanya was not able to complete. Excellent reception by Don Macandini, but on this slight play, that ball goes wide. Four straight points for Ateneo. Earlier it was 
Now the lead is down to six. Seven serving 13. And how about this? A cut shot cross court. Nine points for Tim Tiamzon, who's, who leads all scorers right now. Look at the angle that she takes. Gabi. Her body facing down the line, and her spike going cross court, beating Ateneo's score defense and restoring a seven point lead for the Archers. Oh, she's on fire today. Talking about Tiamzon, just as I say that. That serve rolls out. Samson at 13 points in their first round win. 12 of 28 for 42%. Captain also Nani. contributed 41% from her reception efficiency and 34% sa kanyang big excellence. 8 serving 14. Make that Nani. 9. Will be serving 14. Ateneo coming alive. Couple of uh, service aces here in this set. All right, and they're up against the best receiving team. Who is a, uh, I believe, at 50% reception efficiency for the year. Okay, pasok ka sa loob, misip ka din, tuluwa ka ng mga pamaro ka. Nangyayari kasi, inaagaw sa unit ni Don. Pag inaagaw sa unit ni Don, ano gagawin mo? Eh, kailangan mo din lumisip ka, doon naman kayo nag-i-resip yan. Okay? So, alagaan niya, no? Mas mahirap na makadikit yung balaban, okay? Sana. Okay, let's go, let's go! Javi Marano, Mitch Morente, the green side of things, right? Javi, I think it's nursing an injury, a, a wrist injury, a freak injury. I believe she's also she has also been invited to be a part of the national pool. Yeah, lang ang problema na itukod niya, natulas siya at na itukod, not even playing. So uh, we wish her well. But Mitch Morente, I'm sure, can't wait to play. Of course. In this atmosphere again, Noel Ipak comes in with an impact. Hitchcock going to Ipak. Ipak going down the line. No one home on zone five for the Blue Eagles. Alaki ng puhon na dito ng lasal umabot sa sampu. Kanilang kalamangan na 13-3. Bago nagising dito ang Lady Eagles to narrow the gap earlier. At 15-9, Ipak gets, rather 15-8. Ipak gets a high five from Coach Ramil and sends Ogunsanya back for serving purposes. Is that low? Well, it's in anyway. I thought that that was not over. Didn't go over the net. Uh, 7.8 for the Lady Archers. 16-9 is our score. Thank you for watching us live on SNA, SNA HD, Liga, Liga HD, and of course all over the world via the Filipino channel, TFC.TV, uh, the aforementioned Mika Reyes in attendance here, and her team is in the lead by seven at the Mall of Asia Arena, where we're at for the final day of eliminations here for season 80 of your women's volleyball tournament. Actually, pati men's volleyball, nagtapos na ating elimination at uh, may postuhan na at may playoff pa tayo meron pa oh at kakapwestuhan doon dito hindi ma hindi deep pa natin masasabing wala yes. pang playoff at uh, pagkatapos humabol lang atin na yung kanina para maputol yung kalamangan at 14-9 ipak merong isang pamatay sunog and uh, now lasala strung up three consecutive points to build another eight point lead after opening the, the second set with a 4-0 lead Tolentino again delivering the goods for Ateneo. And that, that is the first point coming from a back row play. Anchored by Catolentino. Dino Wong activating a backline play. Ah, meron palo kanina si Kat from the back row na na block. Na block. Si uh, Majoy. Si Majoy. And this time around, Catolentino scoring against Majoy Baron. Over-received by Lasal. Wong sa gitna kay De Leon. That's out. Bea De Leon tried to score off the block. Instead, she would allow Lasal to build another 8-point lead at 18-10. Is that too low? Yeah, it looked like it was too low. Atene only had five errors in the first uh, in the first set loss. Lasal had seven. Cobb. Kennedy. Sumapit the net. Si BDL. Lasal pulling away once again. Back-to-back -back errors for Ateneo. 
lead back to nine after Lasalas come up with a 5-1 counter run versus the Blue Eagles. This was uh, around the count in the third set of that round one, uh, Coach Wani, if you remember, they were up 21-10. Yes. At the Hinabul, you know? Right. And we are at 20-10 right now. And once again, Mitch Cobb solving Ateneo's defense, making sure KKD was isolated. Double wall was there, but very late. And KKD once again, excellent placement. Giving the double-digit mark, 10-point lead, tying the biggest and the largest for the Sal versus Ateneo. Umugut na si Coach Tai, Coach Ronnie, and uh, Bettina Bella is now in the game. For the first time here, she did not play. She was one of those who had like, uh, injury issues right, in the first right, round right, encounter right. also. That is out. Of the line, Jules Samonte. And Jules Samonte, the reigning rookie of the year, beats the double wall of Lasal. Now, Pongai had injury issues. Abella had Ravenna, obviously. Ravenna uh, missed six games. Appendectomy. Top. Ravenna keeps it up. Samonte gets the point. Two straight points for Jules Samonte. Danny Ravenna keeping that ball in play, helping out Ateneo. Trim into a 10 point uh, deficit, lead down to eight. Cobb, the middle, D. Miss hit, but and still works. Three. Michelle Cobb. Michelle Cobb will draw five Seven. points, three blocks, two serves. Very steady 15. today. Excellent sets. Right. Cheng has uh, had a couple of uh, uncharacteristic, uh, uncharacteristic strong serves para sa pinakamahusay yeah, no, no. at uh, numero uno alam mo isang lakas ng Lasal ang service errors lamang nila for the year 53 yeah. ang Ateneo 121 ba? o nakita ko sabi ko eh pambihira rin naman talaga kaya pala nag number one eh excellent play by Maggie Madayag and that also when you think about it because they're a high risk serving team. Lagi nilang kinakargahan yung mga serves Tama. nila. So you would think that the service errors medyo mataas. Mama, oh, oh. Mama, spike. Bettina. Oh. Also with her own service error. Goes to the bench first. 22-14. It's an 8-point lead. Maintained Got here by the LSU towards the end of the second set. In the middle, Toledo oh, nice left alone. Nobody home. And let's see if Ateneo will be able to mount more of those kind of uh, plays. Of course, it starts with defense. Dina Wong delaying her pass, misdirection, given likewise by was that Madayag? That's Ateneo. It's down still by seven. Nine points. Oh for my! Oh, Nine points for Cat Tolentino. Para sa Ateneo, that is their seventh service error. Seventh? Seventh wow. service error. And that one very painful. Yes. And yeah, we talked about the need for Ateneo to be more efficient. Sa kanilang first line of offense against the best serving team for the year. Oh, nabiyayaan ang Ateneo doon. Butas. Not exactly the perfect pass, but enough to beat LaSalle's defense. Madi Madayag has also been extremely quiet in today's game so far. Pero meron na siyang five points. Five quiet points. Quiet points. Pwede. Oh, Tiamson is calculating that one. Ateneo was down earlier, 20-10. 7-4 for Ateneo. Or rather, 7-3 for Ateneo in the last 10 points. And that's why Coach Ramil presses the timeout button. Okay. 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 Ok
tinan mo kung saan nakaharap, ikaw yung nakatapat sa bola, sa gitna, yung tinasin bola, di ba? O sa pagsakasin niya, tumapat ka, hindi mo pwedeng nakataas sa gitna eh. Gusto mo, di ibang tao kung natapat sa bola, hindi pwedeng ganun. Okay? Samuha ng magandang receive pagkatapos, so pumatay tayo, okay? Kailangan na, nakapatay dyan. Lead is down to six. From a high of double digits here in this set. Largest was at 10. Normally, when you say six, that could be the largest lead. Yun, oh. Oh, pero laki ng hinahabol at kinakayo dito ng Lady Eagles. Tignan natin kung haabutan na rin rito ang Lady Archers. Cobb. O Gonsanya, napapreno. Chance here for Ateneo. Sakit na binigay. Mababa ang delivery for Kat. Tolentino, who's in double figures, by the way, with 10 points. This is the problem pag ang layo nang hinahabol mo. No room for error. Oh, seven set points for Lasal here in the second set. Remember that Ateneo chased four set points in that extended first set, which took 50 points to end. Joe, nobody home. And that's it for set number two. Lasal learning it over. Ateneo. A little bit of a comeback for the Lady Eagles, but not enough. The, wide, the gap was just too wide. We'll be back for set number three. Twenty six twenty four in the first set, twenty five seventeen in set number two, both going to the defending champions who are looking for a second round sweep. And their lead ballooned to ten in that set number two, eventually winning a handily even with the comeback attempt of uh, the Ateneo Lady Eagles. Some numbers on your screens. Excellent uh, level of play by Lasal that started the set. With a 4-0 run, 69 first technicals, 8-2 first technical timeout, 69 second technical timeout, eventually it ballooned to 2010. Mabul naman yung Ateneo, pero masyadong malaki yung puhunan ng De La Salle. Ateneo needs to start out really well here in the third set. Unfortunately, they will surrender another service error. And Lasal opens up the third set with a 1-0 lead. That is their eighth of the match. Masakit, masakit yan. And Lasal uncharacteristically has six of their own so far, but obviously they can afford it more and here and there because of the cushion that they've had, especially in that set number two. We're tied at one all. Boom Gonzalez, Coach Ronnie Magsanok. At your service for this live and exclusive coverage, courtesy of ABS CBN Sports. And a service ace. Two straight points for Ateneo. Cantolentino with a total of 10 points. Make that 12 after she has scored the last two points for Ateneo here in the third set. Remember that she was the solitary scorer in terms of double figures for Ateneo in their last loss against UP. He serving one. He sends it over softly, rolls the ball to the other side. Joel denied at the net. And just when we think that Ateneo would have a slight momentum, Lasal once again using that double wall to tie the counter to a piece coverage. Danny Ravenna was a tad late. Desiree Cheng. Desiree Cheng. Time and safe was served from her. One guy sends it to the other side. Chance ball for Lasal. They go quickly to Majoy. Last year's MVP. Season 78 best blocker. 23 years old. Races her roots from Tarlac. Let's check in with Marty Bautista. 
We know how crucial this game is for that twice to beat advantage. This is what Cat Valentino told me when asked what this game meant for the team. And if Coach Ramil is telling his squad to just enjoy the game boom and Coach Rani, Coach Kai on the other hand asked the girls to play heartstrong and happy. Cat adds, we play best when we follow our mantra. The girls allowed DLSU to intimidate them in that last set, but intimidation can't run over motivation to get that twice to beat advantage. If the girls wish to get that twice to beat, they have to make their mantra work and convert it on the court. Boomin Rani, your thoughts? Thank you very much, Marty. Well, we cannot underscore the uh, importance of the, uh, the match again and having the twice to beat advantage. Last time, Ateneo didn't have that twice to beat advantage. Was that run that they had where they had to play five do or die? You know, <laughs> 2000, uh, in season uh, 74. 74. Oh, 76. Yeah. Check, check. 76. 76. When uh, they had to really climb from the bottom as you look at this JRS's express play of the game. And a painful loss for Lasalle. Right, right. right. Tries to beat. Yes, one for FEU in case it happens. It will be the first time that we'll, they will have that twice to beat edge since 2011. Something that they've always wanted, especially when they were one win away from the finals oh, two oh, years ago. Remember? Oh, so dahil. that was the goal to get the twice to beat. They would win game one. They will have a twice to beat deficit. Let's check in with Eileen. She this time we are tied at four all. Eileen, go ahead. Boom and Ronnie, I am pressuring myself to do more. This is what Michelle Cobb told me, Kanina, before the game. Now, despite knowing that they have nothing to lose today, the sophomore setter still feels a lot of pressure on their shoulders. Dahil dito na nga daw pumapasok ang challenge of staying consistent and always improving. Now, in the huddle, pinaalala ni Coach Ramil na labanan ito ng maturity ng setter. Kaya expect Michelle to push past the pressure and to come out stronger as they try to close out this game in three sets. Boom and Ronnie. Thank you very much, Eileen. There is such a thing in sports as a competitive edge and they don't want to lose that going into the final four regardless of whether and you who are struggling right now or when they make it to the finals whether it's going to be you know feu ateneo or whoever it, that competitive edge and that momentum that they have and the confidence building that they they're that they're in the middle of here in the second round is very important for coach ramil well, i believe the wake-up call for the sal happened in that loss versus adamson that was the second loss in six games for the archers but since then since feb 24 this is a team that has uh, strung up seven consecutive wins sunila mabuk and yan with uh ateneo um na nagsimula yung kanilang win streak and that's a rare over ball para dito kay don makandili over received two straight points for ateneo Ateneo has uh, made the final four nine consecutive years. But they want that twice to beat. Riley is still alive. Cobb. And it's a good sign. It was called for the cross, the violation by uh, second referee, Yul Venosa. Right now, Ateneo making sure that not only are they staying close, but they are in the driver's seat. And let's see if for the first time in this match, they'll be able to head into the first technical timeout ahead. Laban dito sa Dela Sal. 7-6. Tiamzon. Puts it away. Dani Ravenna announcing her re-entry to Ateneo's roster with 13 excellent digs. Kasama itong si Gaston. That's the combined number for... Raben and Gaston versus Don Makandili. 10 points for 10. Home guy. Another faulty delivery. But Samonte saves that play. 8-7. Ateneo in the lead. Go with this technical timeout. That's Jerome Ponce alongside... Mika Reyes here inside the Mall of Asia Arena. Patsugi, Julia Barreto, Joshua Garcia, is that Sir August Benitez also, uh, if I'm not mistaken, right beside them. Carlos Sharma. Carlos Sharma, of course. Lasalle. 
Adrian Wong, Aaron Black. Aaron Black. All part of a 23,243 crowd today here at the Mall of Asia Arena. The first matchup was 18,537. That's round one. Today, 23,243 screaming their lungs out with each attack like that one. Catalentino determined to push Ateneo to another set versus De La Salle. It was a very close first set, extended, extending all the way to 50 points, ended at 26-24. Fudgy bar, oh bar, so The second set was dominated definitely by De La Salle, but here in the third, Ateneo has awakened ahead by two at 9-7. You and I were talking about this in the production room prior to this match. As Cheng puts it away right in the middle to cut the lead down to one. And we felt that we were going to hit the 20,000 mark today. Right, right. Easily, easily. Sa dami ng taong na daanan ko sa labas at sa parking. So far for De La Salle, steadiest attackers for them in this match have been Desiree Cheng, Kim Chamson, and KKT, of course. Too easy. For D, which sets up Cheng, but Samonte Samon. shuts the door on Cheng. And, and Samonte. Then takes a two point lead. Yes, coach. Yeah, Samonte, of course, a uh, former best blocker in high school. Former La Salle, too. Right. De La Salle Sobel. At uh, Palarong Pambansa standout. Uh, rookie of the year. One of uh, the key reasons why Ateneo is number one in blocking this year. Triple block. Chance for Ateneo here, they're up to back row. Joe Maraginon unleashes from behind. Check it out again. Wong goes to Maraginot, who delivers. Going or sending that attack straight to Mitch Cobb. Coverage was there, but not enough. Get that ball in play. Biggest lead for Ateneo of the set and of this match. Ooh, too easy for Ateneo now here. And Mitch Cobb sends it to the other side. Namigay. So, apat. Ito na pinakamalaking abante ng Ateneo. Yes. In but, any. In any. This is the best transition uh, place we've seen of Ateneo in this match so far. Quicker to the ball. Able to beat LaSalle's defense. Okay. Okay. Two sets down, pero buhay, di ba? So, psychological nandun. Okay, ito na. Di ba rin, di ba rin, di ba rin makakuha ng puntos? Walang problema doon. Tingnan lang natin, pagsagaan lang natin yung bawat situation na dumadating. Okay, hindi ba pwedeng kumingo tayo sa maling nagawa natin. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay, go. Ano ka lang, ano ka lang, ano ka lang, ano ka lang. And as I mentioned, 23-243, so think about that coach Ronnie two games they have attracted almost 42,000 people in two games wow round one and round two that's not off the top of my head by the way <laughs> <laughs> I believe it was am, March I'm, 3 no in, the, in that first March round encounter three, right yes Cheng yes. off the timeout and this stops a 5-1 run for the Blue Eagles let's see if LaSalle will be steadier with their floor defense he has been this has been their DNA all year round. The top receiving team, the top uh, floor defense for the year. Likewise, one guy sets it up. Easy take for Cheng. She asks for it back, but D says, "Ako naman, dito sa kabila." Very hard to stop, AKD. A great timeout by Coach Ramil, as usual. Two straight points produced after. He was saying that hey, the other two opponents down two sets, mas magingay pa sila sa inyo. Tama, tama. Service ace. And she apologizes. But the LaSalle fans probably are saying, that's okay. They'll take it. They'll take it. Four aces in that win versus Adamson. LaSalle, 18% of four. 
their 96 points or their 97 points came from service aces in that last win versus the Soaring Falcons. Seven points for her, three service aces, and oh, four nice blocks play. for uh, Mitch Cobb. But Deanna Wong, or Dina Wong rather, gets the point there on the little tip on the second touch. Perfect timing coming from Dina Wong. Perfect placement too because alam niya nagahabol si Mitch and Stolentino on your screens. D in the middle, Lini Hiss! Mas kisa mo papaluin. Alam kong saan dadalhin. This time going to zone one. Misdirection by Majo Ibaron. 12 puntos. 12 na. 12 na. 21 points in their last match against the Soaring Falcons. I believe she's just she's graduating already, just oh. like that. Right? Nagdaan na yung career. Oh, oh, sorry, 21 points versus Ateneo in that first round win, rather. It's Wong who wins the joust oh, there Ateneo. against Majoy. Uh, uh, sabi mo kanina, partner, uh, seven points in each cup. I believe Wong already has four. Two points in the first set, two points here in the third set. They are on your uh, screens, serving with a two-point lead, but surrenders a point. Five yes, points, actually, for Wong after that. Five points. Five na. points. Na. And this is uh, the marquee matchup that we were trying to highlight at the top of the coverage. <laughs> the playmakers, the battle of the setters, the engine of their offense. Open to Joe. That's low. And just like that, we're tied once again at 14 in set number three. Joe Maraginot is a 30% plus attacker. She has to be better today. Number five in scoring, a total of 175 points for the spike percentage. Bob opens up to 10. Matasyan. Wong. Sagit na binigay kay BDL. Cobb. Balik kay KKD. Bumalik ang bola. Excellent offensive block coming from BDL. One of four players who have really helped Ateneo get to the top of the heap in terms of blocking. And finally, stopping it si KKD. Nabasa nila yung pasa dito ni Mitch Cobb. Oh, nabitin. Oh. Napaganda. Ipak again. She mistimed it. Nabitin yung talon. Pero sa haba niya, no? Sa haba niya. Because of her death. Oh. We also had that uh, pamatay sunog point in that second set win para sa Lasal. Mula San Fernando, Pampanga. Only 20 years old. Or Pangasinan, rather. And it goes in again. Back-to-back -back points for her. And Lasal gets to the technical timeout ahead by a point 16-15. That's Anna and Christina. H&M celebrate in style. 16-15, set number three. Of course, that's Hadi Cayoso. From, uh, oh, from uh, the Ateneo side. Right, right, right. The kulay, ano, kulay, uh, kulay football, footballero. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> Yamzon off the fingertips of the blockers of Ateneo. And that's just efficiency. Scoring off the block once again. They were down as we entered the first tactical timeout. And Ateneo even had a five-point lead. Pero ngayon, two-point lead para dito sa De La Salle. 17-15 now is our score. And that drops in. We saw that ball all of a sudden drop in zone number one. And all of a sudden, likewise, Lasal is ahead by three. Just like that. That's like that. Look at that. No spins. And just drops right before it sails. That, that, this morning, they already jumped on by for the not here. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Oh, Chang Wan, no problem. 
May block naman eh, may block eh. May block yung down eh, may block. Ha? Drop ball ha? Check ball, drop ball. Ito. Galaw. Go, go, go! Eighteen fifteen and set number three, LaSalle overtaking Atene all of a sudden here and looking good, looking focused, looking sharp, looking ready for the final four, which will start next weekend if there is no playoff on Wednesday. And there will be no playoff on Wednesday if LaSalle continues to fire away here. It's still playable. Somebody touched the oh hand. My. It's BDL. Oh. And, and this is a part of an 11-3 counter run by De La Salle after they were behind at 12-8. Now they're on top 19-15. Ah, it's Danny who was called. Back row player. <laughs> Talk about a loaded serve. That sail. Right, right, right. Way, way out. That stops a three point run after we were at 16 uh, 15. Three point run for De La Salle. 16 15, second technical timeout. Ateneo gets reprieve, chasing down a three point deficit. Oh my. Namigay. Uh, Ateneo has lost only one match in terms of a three-set sweep, and that happened in their last match versus UP. Lasal, meanwhile, has dropped only three sets here in the second round so far. Somonte, Makandili, pops it up. Cheng pushes it to the other side. Cat, that's over. Wow. Look at the strain on the face of Coach Tai Bundin. Yeah. Major slide sa level of play ng Ateneo after they built momentum. No words needed. Candice Aguiliana will come in now. It's desperation time for Coach Tai as he goes deep into the bench, putting in both the Belia right. and the Aguiliana. Down five after being up here in this set. Ipa, who by the way, after uh, that, oh, has four oh, points oh, on oh, four oh, attacks. Right. Yes. 100%. Why not? Meron siyang Luna, pag binunod, gumagana. Ngayon naman, it's Ipa's turn. And that's the trust factor that Mishka has weed. And has given itong si Ipak that boost of confidence to deliver. Down four, now on top by six. And Coach, uh, Coach Tai brings in Sid Eliazar for Joe Maraginot. Is this uh, it's a little bit of a white flag already for Coach Tai? Definitely a cause for concern for Coach Tai. Three players. You don't regularly see action for them. Catolentino saves. One point. And now BDL comes back for a Belia and Madea comes back in also. Seventeen serving twenty-two. Cobb opens up to Chang. Return to sender. Big defensive play for Ateneo, two consecutive points. They were down by six earlier, 22, 16, and they stay alive. They have to rediscover their DNA. They are the best blocking team. They have to keep on working. They have to keep on moving. Coach Ty calls Joe back just in case. They get ready to come back in. Oh! Cheng mishits it, but still gets the point as it slides off the... The arms of BDL going to zone five, going long, going cross court over the outstretched hands of BDL. 
Sorry, that wasn't a miss hit. That was Mepina talaga. Ilihis. A cut shot for Des Cheng. Bumps up to the other side. Cheng gets it. Cobb goes for the one-two play. And a chance ball for LaSalle, who are up by five. Make that six. And we are at match point. And a Gatorade White Lightning fueled spike of the game by the reigning MVP. Ateneo was in firm control after the first 20 points. But as we reach the second technical timeout, La Sala won eight of the last 11 points. And Lazar receiving. Hekeliana saves one match point. Ateneo still alive. Lasal looking to close out Ateneo in three straight sets and get their eighth consecutive win. Remember that it is a must win for Ateneo in order to force a playoff for the second spot, which guarantees a twice to beat Edge in the semifinals. Aquiliana. Cheng puts it away! Against number one, the final four, the and league the number one champions. team of the league, who are still going to be number one regardless of the result of this match, really stamped their class today in straight sets. And now they let the others battle each other out and Says, uh, we'll see NU the next day with the twice to beat advantage. Ateneo, for the first time since season 76, loses a twice to beat advantage situation. And we'll go down to number three. And we'll have to beat FEU twice to make it back to the finals. But that's the situation that is where they're going to be at. And FEU totally deserves also whatever they, they got to after winning today. Well, they had to work extra hard to get past the National University Lady Bulldogs earlier yeah, in four, four sets. sets. Ateneo had their chances, but Lasal would not allow them any breathing room at all. And I think it boiled down to the first set because that was the closest set we saw in a set that could have gone either way. But eventually, Lasal prevailed by two points. And in the last two sets, Lasal once again showed big form and dominance to be able to sweep Ateneo in three straight sets. Well, you know, La Sala spoiled the party for a lot of teams this uh, this year. Coach Ronnie, you mentioned about they eliminated Adamson. And USD. And USD out of the final four contention. And now their arch rivals don't have the twice to beat advantage. It will be FEU taking number two. We'll take a break and we'll be back to wrap this baby up. We're back inside the Mall of Asia Arena in front of uh, 23,000 uh, and plus uh, fans here. LaSalle sweeps their arch rivals in three sets. LaSalle over Ateneo, and that ends the elimination uh, round uh, uh, games here for season 80 of the Women's Volleyball Tournament. And as uh, we said, uh, LaSalle just reinforces their hold at the number one spot. And with Eileen, she is our Gatorade White Lightning player of the game. It is Mitch Cobb with her. Eileen, go ahead, please. Mitch, first of all, congratulations. You were playing today's game um, without any pressure, and yet you still emerge with a th dominating three set sweep. What did you learn from today's game that you could take into the final four? Um, um, first thing I, I took in mind was composure talaga. As long as I'm composed and as long as the whole team is composed, um, you know, it, it flows kasi if there's composure. Eh. So, yun, parang what I learned talaga is, syempre, tiwala. Tiwala sa teammates ko and tiwala sa coach kasi parang tiwala sila sa akin. Eh. So, parang, diba, parang it's a two-way thing rin. So, yeah, composure and trust sa whole team. And yes, it was very evident in this game, your growth as a setter. So what spelled out the difference for you at the start of the first round as compared to now that we're ending the elimination round? Siguro, big difference was uh, I was able to... Im now I'm Im I'm trying to embrace the role talaga, as in fully. Um, I want to, by the end of the season, I want to fully embrace it. So now I think I'm in the process of embracing it. So going into the final four, parang I want to give myself more credit, of course, because um, I need it here. So tuloy-tuloy na, ganun. 
Yes, thank you and congratulations, Michelle. Boom, do you have any more questions? Yes, we do. Uh, Mitch, congratulations uh, uh, for making it to the final four, for yes. being number one and yep. for the win today. Um, there's no such thing as a no-bearing game with Coach Ramil de Jesus, uh, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. What was the approach going into this game, even if you already knew and everybody knew that you would be number one anyway? Um, it was a fight for pride, as, as usual. Um, and siguro parang for a um, booster then for coming into the semis, if we, the if parang we got this win, parang it's extra confidence for us going into the semis. So yun. Mitch, uh, there have been only two teams that have beaten you so far, Adamson yeah. and NU. You've beaten yeah. them also in the second round. You'll be squaring off against NU even before mm -hmm. facing Ateneo. Yeah. Ito sa huli niyong panalo. What lies ahead for Lasalle in that face-off versus NU in the playoffs? Uh, siguro yan. We'll keep pushing. We'll keep training hard. As in harder, if that, if I may say that. Kasi, um, I think this is where everything gets intense. Eh. So, um, you know, we study, we study um, NU, ganyan. And this past week, I feel like it's gonna be it's gonna be heavy, but I know it's gonna be worth it. So. Uh, knowing Coach Ramil, I'm sure it will be harder yeah. going into the <laughs> final four. One last thing, uh, Mitch, before we let you go, how big is it has the LaSalle community support been for you personally, individually, from the start of this season, especially with all the pressure, all the talk about yeah. you replacing Kim Fajardo? How big were they and uh, for you this season? You know, I'm very thankful for everyone supporting because they would always make me feel that they have my they have their full trust in me. So I think that's a very big thing because you know it inspires me every day. Na parang shocks a lot of people believe in me. So I have to I have to really perform. So yeah. It's a great attitude. All right, we'll give you thank the floor you. if you wanna say what's up to anybody or thank anybody um, uh, on your side. Sure, I wanna thank um, the Lasallian community for. Um, their endless support and for our managers and coaches and of course my mom and my dad and my parents and all the people I love they're all <laughs> talaga, they're, they've talaga as in full support so yeah thank you everyone all right, and congratulations once again. Stay healthy and good luck in the thank final you, four, you, Mitch. You're you. very welcome. Thank you, Eileen She, Also, the courtside reporter, of course, from LaSalle, uh, who interviewed Mitch Cobb. All right, let's give you an updated uh, look, Coach Ronnie, on the team stand. Well, there will be no more playoffs dito sa ating women's competition. Everything has been settled. At uh, four teams have been eliminated. And our final four uh, matchups will be LaSalle going up against NU. And FU against Ateneo. Of course, De La Salle and FU with twice to beat advantage over Ateneo and NU. But interesting enough, yung mga matchups na sinasabi natin, parehong 1 1 ang head to head count eh. between La Salle and NU and FU and Ateneo. Oh, bawi, bawi, bawi an lang this season, although <laughs> ang Las Ateneo hindi nakabawi dito sa second round against La Salle. Oo nga, ano? Ewa, yun na, but... Parang last year, dinalawahan nila oh, ang La Salle oh, sa elimination yeah. round. Ah, All right. Let's check out our schedule. So there's no playoff for the women's anymore on Wednesday, but there is volleyball because there is a big game for the men's division, Coach Ron. And this will be the for the final seed in the semis. Of course, just a few days ago or yesterday, USD beat Adamson to send the final uh, game on Wednesday as uh, the do-or-die game between USD and Adamson to join three other teams in the semifinals. So that's 2 p.m. That's Wednesday. That will be at the Phil Oil Flying right. Center. And then Final Four will officially start on Saturday, a weekend from now. And it will be the battle between number two and number three. Yan ang mauuna po. Uh, las dos ng tanghali para sa men's volleyball. That's FU and Ateneo. And Coincidentally, both uh, in the men's and women's division, FEU and Ateneo, and FEU with the number two seed right. uh, in the women's division, 4 p.m. Naman. Mall of Asia, uh, Saturday <laughs> next week, and you can purchase one ticket for both games to enjoy both games. For sulit na sulit yan. Sulit na sulit <laughs> yan. Okay, and then of course on Sunday, we'll talk more about that, but Sunday will be the one and four matchup right naman. right okay paalala lang natin coach Ronnie PVL Grand Vance Day oh. April 27 2018 at the Trinoma Activity Center that starts at 1 p.m. please join us for meet and greet session for the stars before the PVL officially opens its second season with the reinforced conference a lot of fun activities games special uniform reveal but we'll await the fans nice yeah. Uh, so yeah, join na kayo, uh, April 27, 1 p.m. at the Trinoma Activity Center. Okay, and that will do it from us here at the Mall of Asia Arena. Your thoughts on the Final Four, Coach Ronnie? Well, interesting matchups.
for the first time in a long while, we'll find Ateneo in a precarious situation Why we will see FVU needing to win only once to make it to the finals. While for NU, may chance pa sila, but they have to beat LaSalle two in a row to make it to the title battle. And the cast is complete, and the positioning is also complete, and that will do it. And we'll see you over the weekend for Final Four action, and on Wednesday for playoff action for the men's division. For Eileen Shi, Marty Bautista, Coach Ronnie Magsana, ako po si Boom Gonzalez. Para sa ating TV broadcast, nagpapaalam kami. Magkita-kita tayo sa live stream in a few seconds.